Welcome back to the Atlanta Falcons franchise and welcome to Thursday Night Football as the Falcons debut their brand new stadium against the Washington Redskins. Last week the Falcons lost to the Jacksonville Jaguars in a game which their defense allowed five field goals did a nice job on that but our offense could get absolutely nothing going. Matt Ryan is still out for this game so Sean Renfrey will get the start once more. He needs to bounce back if we're going to be able to win this game. Quayshawn McClendon back to turn the kick as we are about to get underway and boom the first opening kickoff ever in our new stadium and we are underway Tommy Boyette takes it out breaks one tackle breaks another but had a lot of green ahead of him but was brought down from behind as Sean Renfrey on our offense takes the field the first time today starting off with a three wide set and Devontae Freeman no room to work with he'll lose two now third and 13 from the 15 yard line Renfrey down the field, and it's intercepted by Jarrett, intended for Larry Donnell on the return inside of the 30-yard line. Not the way we want to start off this game as RG3 and the Redskins offense take the field. Griffin off the play action, throws to Young. He breaks one tackle, still not down. Finally goes down after a gain of eight at the 21-yard line. Second and two, give goes to Morris. He's close to the first down, and he did get it. Called a gain of three. Griffin going to the air once more across well he's got Reed and he's into the end zone Redskins have scored their first touchdown as it is seven to nothing probably the worst possible way we could have started off this game Freeman on the carry he's only able to get around two yards still negative yardage on the day on third and 11 four wide set and it's knocked away nearly intercepted Renfrey also has negative yardage through the air the Redskins are back on offense once more in nice play they will lose three. Our defense is really what kept us in the game last week. However, Denard Robinson did run for 150 yards on the day. Morris into the open field, brought down by Robert Alford, but a big gain along with the first down. Two wide to the right as Griffin trying to roll out of the pocket. He breaks one, not able to get away from the second. Jonathan Babineau has his second sack on the season. So now third down and long. Griffin from the pocket. He throws and misses Alfred Morris across the middle and the Redskins will be forced to punt. Our defense did a nice job right there. First and 10 for Freeman, trying to get to the outside, not able to get away from the tackler, but picks up 12 yards into positive yardage on the day. So that's good to see, gotta take the positives away, even the small ones on offense. Carroll Felton, that's probably the longest run on his career so far, a nine yard pickup. Going to Felton once more, up the middle of the field, started to get something going in the first couple of games, he wasn't able to do very much, didn't get a ton of carries though. First and 10 for Renfrey in the split shotgun. Though outside to Felton, makes a move, breaks a tackle. Not a big gain, but around six yards. That was good to see. Third and seven for Renfrey. Going the air, and he goes down. A loss of seven. Johnson in on the sack. Offensive line has struggled in the first couple of weeks of keeping our quarterback upright. And once again, they did right there. A three-yard gain, though, for Alfred Morris to start off the Redskins' drive. Now second and six, 50 seconds left in the first quarter. Morris trying to get to the outside, brought down from behind by William Moore down to the 28 yard line. Probably the final play of the first quarter as the give goes to Morris, he's past the 30 yard line to the 31 yard line as the second quarter is underway. Second and seven, Griffin takes off from the pocket and he dives forward, a risky play to the 41 yard line. He is a very dynamic threat outside of the pocket. Griffin once more, he takes off. He's got some room to work with and doesn't slide, hit hard. And Griffin the third is hurt on the play. Malcolm Smith and on the tackle. And Kirk Cousins will come into the game. He gives it to Morris. He's brought down in the backfield, loses two yards. That will bring up third and four. Cousins in the shotgun on third down. Steps up to the outside. He's got Andre Roberts along the sideline, pushed out of bounds, but picks up 18 yards. A man in motion is young, give goes to Morris, and he stopped in his tracks, picks up three yards, so now second and seven upcoming. Make that third and seven from the 32 yard line, looking for a screen pass, he's hit, almost sacked Babino in on the pressure as the screen pass was not set up quick enough. Now on for the field goal from the 32 yard line, 49 yarder, it is good, the Redskins have a 10 to nothing lead about three minutes into the second quarter. Renfrey to start off his drive to Harry Douglas. It's incomplete, a hard hit. Nice coverage right there to force the ball out. On third and nine, to the outside. This time Douglas gets it, and he's still going. Finally caught at the 37-yard line. 
14 yards so far for Renfrey on the day. Going down the middle of the field, this time Danell gets it not intercepted, and we are now inside of Redskins territory for the first time on the day. Second and 10, Giff goes to Freeman on the draw play, and he had a little bit more room to the right, but cut left and ends up picking her up around four yards. Play action, Renfrey hit as he throws, and now that will bring up fourth down. Darren Kenny, the rookie kicker, comes on, kick away, it's a long one, and it's good with room to spare. He has a very strong leg, and he connects from around 54 yards out. Griffin is back into the game. He gives to Morris after the long field goal, and Bartu gets to him, but Morris drags him for about 10 yards, so now second and very short. Going to the air, a dump off to Morris, caught by Trufant, and he loses about maybe a yard. Trufant's got to make a little bit more of a solid tackle, though. Now Morris is able to pick up the first down to the 34-yard line. Under five minutes left in this first half. Man in motion is young, and Morris just hesitates and is brought down in the backfield. He loses the yard, which will bring up third and long. 414 left. Griffin going to the air from the pistol. Pressure gets there and True Font drops it. We've only had one interception through two games, but a lot of dropped interceptions. Now Jones on the screen pass into the open field. Tries to make a back juke, but still picks up 17 yards. A nice throw. Trying to make some easy plays for Renfrey where he doesn't have to do too much. Another screen play this time to Freeman. He had a big one last week. Another very nice one. Not quite a touchdown but 13 yard gain nonetheless. Three wide set on first and 10, and Renfrey's hit as he throws. A poor job by the offensive line once more. Second and 10 given to Freeman once more, and this time he's got some room to work with, trying to put some nice runs together, and he's doing a nice job of that. Four guys split out wide, one being Donnell, and to the outside as we've reached the two minute warning. That's Harry Douglas on the catch. A four wide set on second and 10, a throw to Donnell, and he's got it, he fights for it. He picks up maybe five yards, so now third and five. Under one and a half minutes left in this first half. A dump down to the outside for Hankerson. He's hit hard, Redskins use a timeout, and will be forced to settle for a field goal. Now 120 left, to the outside for Jordan Reed, and he's two around, we'll say the 25 yard line, a pickup of five. Griffin will go to the air on second down. He takes off. He's to the 30-yard line. The ball is out. Recovered by Robert Alford. He's got some room to around the 11-yard line. A huge play, and we're set up in great field position to maybe take the lead. Renfrew going to the air on first and 10. Throw to the outside to the Nell. No room to work with. He'll pick up one yard, and we will use our first timeout. Now the give goes to Freeman, and he goes, he's still not down, ends up maybe losing a yard while fighting. So now third and six from the six yard line, and trying to go for a fade route, and Renfrey just air mails the throw, doesn't even give Jones a chance, and Kenny will come on for the field goal, get the shirt points, a huge missed opportunity, as we will go into halftime with a one point deficit, instead of maybe a three point lead, but the second half is coming up next. Griffin from the shotgun to start the third quarter as he will go to there. He takes off. Last time he did this, he fumbled to around the 45-yard line, and he doesn't slide once more. It's very risky. He's brought down by Byron Maxwell. From the pistol, give goes to Young right up the gut, and he picks up five yards on his first carry of the day. Second and five, man in motion. Give goes to Morris, trying to get outside. He's caught by Moore and finally brought down by Maxwell. He picks up three yards. From the pistol as Broussard checks in the game, he gets it. That's a rookie right there to the 35-yard line, and he picks up a first down. A nice start to the half for the Redskins as Griffin will go to the air. He's got Deshaun Jackson short. Maybe actually now got the first down. Yep, he did get the first down, a gain of 10. Griffin drops back on second down across. Well, he's got Floyd, the veteran receiver, holds onto the ball, picks up another first down. Uh, this is just a great drive for the Redskins to start off this half. Now Griffin will take off, and he's tackled, and nowhere to go. It counts as a sack for Malcolm Smith, as I guess he did technically go backwards. But now Morris a give to the outside, caught by Trufant, an excellent open field tackle. He picks up five yards. Now third and five, a four-man front. All of them are defensive ends. Griffin throws. He's got Jerron Kreiner at the two-yard line. Now a goal-to-go -go situation inside of the five-yard line. 
Give goes to Broussard to the outside. Touchdown Redskins as he will sprint back to the sideline holding the football. A six and a half minute drive ending with a touchdown for the Redskins and Carroll Felton gets the first carry of the second half on the pitch and nowhere to go he loses three now on third and 13 and Jones on a curl route a sh very short one but picks up 15 a missed tackle four wide set play action to Freeman and the throw goes to Hankerson a risky throw somehow fit that in there and Hankerson picks up the first down Hankerson did sign a one-year deal in the offseason now to the outside Julio Jones once more he's been a little bit quiet in the first couple games eight catches 97 yards coming off a 90 catch 1,000 yard season. That is a little quiet for one of the best receivers in the NFL, but Kerrigan in on the sack. Falcons will go back eight yards, and now Renfrey going to the air. He's got Hankerson. He's close to the first down line. I think he got it. They say he did a huge play running all verts on that play. First and 10, a dump down to Hankerson, a spin move, still fighting for it. Another first down for Leonard Hankerson. He's playing very well. Especially in the second half, already has a couple of catches. Now Renfrey to the outside. Donnell goes up and gets it. Having the receiving tight end has made such a huge difference for this offense. As Donnell is already off to a great start this year. And then Freeman punches it in. This is now a two-point game. And the Falcons are going to go for two. A three-wide set on the two-point conversion. To the middle. He's got Donnell. A risky throw. But Donnell just reaches out, snatches it. And this is now a tie game at 17. Start of the fourth quarter is here. Is on third and 10. A huge catch by Roberts. He picks up the first down. An empty set for Griffin as he has four wide receivers out there. He goes to the outside. He's got Kreiner along the sideline. A short pickup of around three yards. Now under center, a twin tight end set. Griffin scrambling. He gets the throw out. And he's got it to read the rookie tight end. They do have two reads. That is Blake Reed. So now third and two for Griffin on the play action. He takes off, but he's caught by Tyson Jackson. A huge play, and the Redskins will be forced to punt. Ten and a half minutes to work with. Quayshawn McClendon gets the carry, and he has nowhere to go. He'll lose a yard. That's his first career carry. Second and 11. Now Devontae Freeman checks back into the game. He gets the carry. He's got some room to work with, and he's got a first down. A nice run. He's been a little slow to get started, though, this year. First and 10, looking for a screen pass from Freeman as he is tripped up and goes down. He had a ton of room ahead of him. Only ends up with seven yard gain. Could have been so much more. Now Freeman up the middle, just trying to run the clock. End up with a touchdown, a long, methodical drive. We're in now third and very long though. On a screen pass to Freeman. He makes a spin move, fighting forward. He's still not down to the 48 yard line. A long gain, but not enough. Now under six minutes left for Griffin. He throws to Reed. He's got it. He's two around the 28 yard line. He gains eight yards. Now man in motion is Deshaun Jackson. Griffin takes off. The ball is out. Hagman on top of it. He goes. He trips. But he puts his hand on the ground. Touchdown Atlanta. We have the lead. What a play by the Falcons. They have taken the lead. A hard hit. Griffin tries to take off. He has almost fumbled a couple of times. He did fumble once. And then Hagman, the icing on top of the cake, he puts his hand down and then runs into the end zone. A seven-point lead, scoop and score. And Griffin goes down again. Jamichael Pruitt, he's in on this sack, a loss of seven. Split shotgun for Griffin. He's in the pocket. He takes off. The ball is out. But Winston is on top of it. We had a chance to really open the floodgates right there. Instead, it is third and 18. Looking for a screen pass. Down goes Griffin. And he's along the inches line. O'Brien Schofield's first sack on the season. That was incredibly close to a safety. Now the Redskins do get the punt away as he brought the punt block. Quayshawn McClendon passed the 50. A spin move. And he ends up only getting to the 50. He had more room to work with. And now we just need to run clock. Give goes to Freeman. He bounces off a tackler. But he's brought down by the defensive end Hatcher. So now second and six. 220 left. Freeman up the gut. He's got the first down and more. He's to the 34-yard line. First down, Falcons. Now to the two-minute warning. Redskins need to start using their timeouts. Freeman breaks one. Still fighting. He's coming alive in this final couple of minutes. And the Redskins use their first timeout. Second and two. Give goes to Freeman. The ball is out. But we recover it. That could have been horrible right there. Redskins use another timeout. 
Now Carroll Felton, and he's just probably sealed this game, still going to the 12 yard line, gain of 13. And now we just need to get one more play as this game is over. Just hang on to the ball. We do, and that will do it for this game. The Falcons win by seven points. A huge game, a huge way to go on top. And then we almost fumbled that ball at the end by Freeman. He let it go, but the offensive lineman had the quick reaction to pick it up. And we are now 2-1 and one on the season. We really came back. We struggled in the first quarter. In the second, third, and fourth, we all put up points. Renfrey, not the greatest game, did throw an interception, only 193 yards. The defense was the story of this game. They won this game for us, forcing three fumbles, only recovered two, but it was just huge. I thought Leonard Hankerson, Julio Jones, Danell all played very well. Renfrey didn't play that great, but our, I thought our receivers did play well. It was just a huge game, probably one of the most exciting ways to win a game that I've ever had. I think I might have had a couple of Hail Marys that are up there, but that was just incredible. Only 282 yards for us. But we held the Redskins to under 200 yards on the day. Robert Griffin III only at 99 yards passing. As next week, we are still at home as we take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And we have some good news. Matt Ryan, he will be back. He will be back on the field. Hopefully this time he can stay healthy. As we ended up going 1-1, one one, I was happy with the results. We split the games without Matt Ryan. Our offense did really struggle though without him. After they played pretty well without him in the first game. But like I said, we're now 2-1 and one on the season. And the Buccaneers have a couple of injuries along the offensive line. Both of their centers, both the starter and the backup, are both out for our game. So their offensive line is a little bit shaky. And we are tied with the Saints for the lead in our division at 2-1. Panthers still do not have a victory on the season. As this is not a very talented Buccaneers team. Just to be blunt, Levante, David, Gerald McCoy, Altron, Werner, all very talented. Benjamin Jackson and Mike Evans. But that's pretty much their entire team. I'm so happy to finally have Matt Ryan back though. I feel like our offense should really be a lot better with him. As I was worried to some extent to throw the ball with Renfrey because he's not accurate and he doesn't have the biggest arm so there wasn't a whole ton we could do in the passing game and then without a passing game it really hurt our running game so having him back should add a new dynamic to our offense. Still only one interception on the season we need to get some more of those but we have forced the fumble so at least getting turnovers in some way just I, just an exciting victory. It makes me that much excited moving forward for this series. I was really pumped playing. I was worried we might end up losing that game after we gave them the ball back. But then a huge play by William Moore and Rashid Hegman. And we would end up winning the game. So now 2-1 on the season. Next week we'll be taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like down below. Leave your comments on the game down below. And what you think about Matt Ryan coming back. I will see you for week 4 of the NFL season. And for our first divisional game of the season, because I'm out.